As the Water Sports Industry Association develops best practices for towboat operation, it is important that scientific research be conducted to accurately formulate those practices as the popularity of wake sports continues to grow. In 2015, Clifford Gowdy, along with software and sensing expert Dr. Louis Gerard, conducted an extensive study measuring boat waves approaching the shore to determine the potential effects they are having. The first ever Toad Water Sports Wave Energy Study modeled safe boating standards and helped gain perspective for a wave's origin and how it dissipates throughout its journey to the shoreline. The optimal wave height for surfing is in the limited area behind the boat as it travels 10 to 12 miles per hour. Behind the surfer, the wave's energy quickly diminishes as it curls and breaks while the steepness of the wave results in it losing much of its energy upon the initial break. The next step in the research was to collect height measurements of these waves at different locations as they travel to the shore from varying distances at 300, 200, and 100 feet. Gaudi positioned an array of probes at these distances between the shoreline and the path of a fully loaded wake boat at water depths ranging from 2 to 22 feet. Those devices precisely measured water level variations and were sampled 30 times per second for the duration of the wake's passage. To show in a simplistic way, measuring stakes were placed in the area of the breaking waves to clearly indicate the wave's height as it approached the shore. The measurements revealed that in the first 100 feet of travel from the boat path, wake surfing waves dropped 27 to 56% in height and 42 to 82% of their power is lost. Thanks to Gaudi's study, there's now scientific data demonstrating a better understanding of the effects boating is having on lakes and how to respond. <laughs>